huh, is this four centimeters or five? Is it four and a half? Mass stress. Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we'll be talking about accuracy of measurement, which is essentially um, different rules on how to measure things using different scales, like for example, a ruler. So how do we measure things on a ruler? And it may sound pr pretty easy, but it's actually, there's a little bit of a uh, concept here we have to know for the IB math studies as well. Specifically, we're going to be talking about a concept of approximation. And the rule of approximation is pretty simple. The way it works is you take the tiniest value on your measurement instrument. In this case, I believe it's a millimeter, which is right here. It's a really, really tiny uh, scale. And here the accuracy or approximation accuracy is plus minus one half of this particular unit or one plus minus one half millimeter. And this is usually the case for all of the scales for all of the measurement instruments. In other words, let's look at another example right here. This is another example. Here's a ruler that has its smallest scale at one centimeter. So the distance between these two notches is about one centimeter, or it's exactly one centimeter. So how do we find the accuracy here? How do we find uh, accuracy of measurement? And for this ruler, the accuracy of measurement is once again, plus minus one half of its tiniest unit, which is in this case, plus minus one half centimeter. And the way this works is, it, it's actually related to previous unit we did, which was um, rounding. So if we look at the scale again, and let's actually zoom in on the scale. So let's zoom in on the scale. So here's, for example, this is value of two centimeters, and this is a value of three centimeters. Um, now, right here in the middle, you have your uh, 2.5. Now, everything on this side is rounded toward two. Everything on that other side is rounded toward three. And it's the same on this side. So everything up to 3.5, 3.5 right here, is going to be rounded toward three. Whereas everything on that other side, everything up to 1.5, is going to be rounded toward two. This is getting kind of messy, but basically it's rounded toward two. So the value for, let's just look at value three. The value for three is actually from here to here. This is the approximation value. In other words, it's from 2.5 to 3.5, which can also be rewritten as three plus minus 0.5, which is also three plus minus one half of centimeter. And that's exactly what this accuracy of measurements rule is. Now let's do some examples from the book just to make this a little bit more clear. Let's look at the example 18 on page 59 and this example is related to perimeter of an object. And so first we have a rectangular piece of wood and we have certain measurements for it as well. We know that its length is 78 centimeters and its width is 24 centimeters. And the question is what are the boundary values, boundary values, for perimeter of this object. Now, if you remember your geometry, perimeter is basically everything around the block. So it's this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. So we have to find uh, the sum of all of these four sides. Now, this may sound pretty easy, but unfortunately, it's a little bit tricky because we're actually looking for a boundary value. In other words, we're looking for uh, two values, the smallest possible value for your perimeter, perimeter and the highest possible value for the perimeter. In other words, we're actually looking at it as if we were measuring this with a ruler that has a, some kind of an accuracy error. Uh, so let's look at it this way. So we know that for, um, so we're using a centimeter ruler here. So for this particular value for the um, length, um, our value for length is 78 centimeters plus minus one half centimeter. The value for width is 24 plus minus one half centimeter as well. So now we actually have to find a perimeter using these values. In other words, we're looking for the smallest value of length and width, and then we're looking for the largest value of length and width. So let's separate this into another column. So we're gonna make two columns actually. We're going to make smallest right here. This is gonna be smallest perimeter. And then we're going to make another one with the largest perimeter. 
And without using our calculators, we can probably easily calculate what is the smallest possible length. Well, it's of course 77.5 centimeters. And the smallest width is 23.5. Because it's plus minus one half centimeter. Now, what is the largest possible length? Well, the largest possible length is 78.5. And the largest possible width is 24.5. And so now what we have to find is we have to find a perimeter for this. And then we have to find perimeter for this. And if you remember correctly, perimeter is width times 2 plus length times 2. So let's use our calculator to find the value for this. All right, so let's start with the smallest value. And that's, let's open brackets, 77.5. That's our length times 2. That's our total uh, two lengths together, and then plus um, 23.5 times two, th those are our two widths, and basically we're combining, this is what we're doing, we're combining two of these, and then two of these, and the lowest possible value is going to be 202 centimeters. 202 centimeters. Now let's look for the largest value, largest perimeter, and that's 70. Oops, I forgot my brackets again. 78.5 uh, times 2 plus 24.5 times 2. It might, it might actually help you to add these twice, but I'm doing it times 2 just to save some time. But it's basically 24.5 plus 24.5. And the answer to this is 206. So 206 centimeters is the largest possible value for this perimeter. In other words, uh, 206 centimeters. In other words, the boundary value for this perimeter is between 202 centimeters and 206 centimeters. And, and that's the actual answer for this problem. And you can, of course, rewrite this a little bit differently. You can also rewrite this as 204 plus minus two centimeters because that's the actual accuracy of this measurement all right so hopefully this example was very helpful and before i finish the video i'm going to also include another part basically when do you use these when do you have to find these measurements what kind of words are you looking for in the problem that will actually ask you for uh, to find an actual accuracy uh, or accuracy of measurement and uh, some examples are when you hear words range of possible values. So in this case, it's looking for the same thing as looking for accuracy of measurement. And of course, like in the previous example, also boundary values also mean the same thing. So this is accuracy of measurement. And of course, whenever you hear the word accuracy, so what is the accuracy of, or find the accuracy? What is the accuracy? So the word accuracy usually involves this kind of calculation as well. So just to summarize, so whenever you hear the word range of possible values, or boundary values, or the word accuracy appears. This is when you want to have an answer that is a number, let's just say 42, and then you want to have an accuracy. So plus minus something, plus minus two centimeters. And don't forget that this applies to um, every, every, every uh, value that you're looking for. So for example, if you're looking for a volume of a cube, volume of a cube is width times length times height. So you actually want to find um, accuracy for each of these. So for each side, each of three sides, you'll have an accuracy. So you'll, you'll actually have a quite a different value at the end. In other words, if this is two plus minus one half, and this is one plus minus one half, and this is three plus minus one half, that's not actually a cube, but that's more of a recta rectangular prism. But if that's the case, you will actually have to find the smallest value for this, smallest value for this, smallest value for this, and also the largest value for all of three units, and then combine them together to find the volume. Anyway, so that's it for accuracy of measurement. Hopefully this was helpful, and this was chapter two. Thank you, and see you later, and good luck.